Karen, you got there in the end, was it a little bit of a scare towards the end, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I thought Bristol were superb the whole game, really. And then they had definitely had the momentum in the second half, and uh, you know, especially a 20 minute period where they just pressed and up the ante, and I thought they were superb. And I think they deserved their goal and uh, probably deserved um, a point from the game. So obviously, we were. We were thrilled then with the with the victory and keeps our momentum going, even though we were re really sloppy today. I suppose it's uh, the shock of actually conceding a goal. You didn't know what to do then, did you? <laughs> it happened so rarely. Yeah, I mean, I think it was coming. You know, we you felt it, and, and credit to them, um, which is disappointing from us. We've been trying to keep a clean sheet, which is our mentality, and we'll be disappointed to, to concede. And you know, for us, it was it was sloppy. Usually, we're very good on set plays, um, so we need to address that, especially going in, going forward. Um, but again, you have to give Bristol credit. They're an excellent team, and um, I thought they really made it difficult and was, you know, probably our hardest game of the season so far. Not the first penalty you ever scored down here for whoever you've been playing here against, mm -hmm. but uh, a little bit of relief, wasn't it, when you put that ball? Yeah, because uh, it's pressure, isn't it? Um, you're stepping up, and um, you know it's the last minute of the game, and it's one-one, and um, the Chelsea standard is to win every single game, um, and so it's a little bit of pressure, but. Um, that, that, those are the moments that you live for, and that's why you you pay to be a professional footballer to to practice and learn how to con control yourself in those moments. And thankfully, it did. Even though the keeper was absolutely outstanding tonight, she yeah. was she was really, really, really good. Um, so I was I was pleased that it went in. And in the bigger picture, though, is players who haven't quite been regulars this season. They got 90 minutes in and valuable football under their belt. To be fair, a lot of us have played, that team has played, that team's very, very strong um, and has been rotating it, but a lot of those players have had a lot of minutes this season. Um, you know, I, I, I do think there's some big players there and top internationals in that side, so um, I have to disagree with that, I'm afraid. Um, I think we've just been rotating our team and um, that's just the way it is at Chelsea. We have a squad full of internationals and um, you never know when you're going to play next. You have to give 100%. Um, but for us, it was very sloppy tonight and um, it wasn't good enough. We're looking ahead now to Wednesday, the big game coming up against Rosengard. After getting past Bayern Munich in the last round, you must be confident in getting past anyone now. Yeah, you have to have that confidence and that belief. Um, but at the same time, we need to go back to a little bit of basics, I think, and be a bit more... Um, you know, defensively better, um, possess the ball better. Um, we just need to raise our levels, but you know, we're confident going into that. That and um, you know, for us, we were pleased that we weren't at our best and we're still able to grind out a result against a good team. So we definitely need to improve and and go into another gear if we're going to compete and, and beat Rosengard, which we're capable of doing. They're a very experienced side, aren't they, Rosengard? A lot of European experience. And you'd be coming up against an old mate of yours in uh, Anita Santa. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be there much longer. Um, tweeting out that she's probably going to move on to where I'm not sure. <laughs> but she's um, an outstanding player and has been for years. She's experienced, she's tough, she's strong, technically good. Um, you know, I'm not surprised she's been at such good sides, you know, all her career. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to see her. We, we played them, I think, in, in February or March, um, just gone. And it was good to see her. And, you know, they were, they're a very good seat, team. Yeah. And um, we'll expect nothing different on Wednesday. And hoping for a big crowd and a big occasion. Of course, you know, we want everyone down at Kings Meadow. We've moved grounds, it's fantastic. We've had, uh, I think, the biggest crowd consistently this season. Um, we want to keep pushing pushing, um, and getting the locals in, the Chelsea fans, even football fans in and around the area. It's important that we get everybody there and it, it does make a difference. And um, it's always nice to play in front of, um, you know, a good crowd and it, it raises you another gear and that's what you dream of playing in Champions League in front of big crowds. Yeah, something that you thrive on, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, I think everyone does. Well, we wish you the very best of luck for that on Wednesday and we'll be watching closely and hoping you get past Rose and Guard as well. Well played tonight, Caroline, and well done on the winning goal. We wish you and Chelsea the best of luck, as I said, from here. And thanks for taking the time and talking to us right now. Anytime. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. You so much. Take care. Yes, I suppose that's a, that's a horrible, horrible way to lose to a late penalty when you, you're taking Chelsea all the way. Yeah, I know. Well, we said in the change room before that we wanted to give it all, we wanted to leave the pitch knowing we could give it all, but obviously we wanted to get something out of the game, but losing it like that, yeah, it was horrible. I know you didn't play last week against Reading, but after the 5-0 defeat, and people are obviously probably thinking it was going to be a similar story this week, but the team really looked determined from the start and, and denied Chelsea a lot of space to play, didn't they? Well, yeah, whenever we lose, we just want, we're more hungry to win again. So I think that's what we brought in training this week, just to come back more hungry, and I think that's what we did. And your debut tonight, a nice uh, 
occasion to play against the team that's top of the league at the moment. I know, I've been waiting for this for ages, but yeah, it was amazing, yeah. You're a player that's come through the system here at Bristol, you, uh, uh, you come through the, the uh, development team? Yeah, I come from the CFV and then I'm in development now and I made my debut tonight, yeah. And what was it like out there? Oh, it's amazing. Being, playing against on the field with like England internationals as well, it's something you just don't do every day. And then not long after coming on, your team did what no other team has done this season, scored against Chelsea, a, a great moment. I know, I think it's because... We just wanted to. We wanted something out of the game so much, so we just pressed with everything and we got a goal out of it. How do you view on the penalty? Could, could you see from where you were? What happened? I couldn't really see from where I was, but I don't really know to be honest. I couldn't see clearly. <laughs> well, it's uh, looking forward to this. Uh, looking forward from here, I should say. Manchester City away next week is a real tough run of fixtures, but after the, the performance today, especially in the second half, it should give the team lots of confidence going forward into that game. Yeah, I think now we've shown against Chelsea, you know, like no one scored against them. I think because we scored against them, we can do that against any team. And I just think we're hungrier than ever now just to progress on. And the team defended well tonight, didn't they? I mean, Danny Kirk died. I was very impressed with her at the back. And Caitlin Leach had a good game coming and going. We made some good saves in the first half. Yeah, we said that on the bench as well. Caitlin Leach made some really good saves. And uh, Danny played really well as well, yeah. On a personal note, now you've had a taste of this, you want some more, I suppose? Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we wish you the best of luck in that and in the future. Well played tonight, Jess. Well, congratulations on your debut. Well played, Bristol City. So unlucky at the end to lose that. Thanks for coming and taking the time and talking to us Thank right you. now. Thanks a lot.